What's the difference? The uh, material, this is this looks a little lighter. 1500% cotton, 1500% polyester. And that's 100% polyester. What do you like? This? this? Okay. Okay. Maybe, I, maybe I'll try this, yeah. First of all, you can try this. Okay. How do I, uh, fitting room back yeah. here? Okay. My name is uh, Khalid Saj Flut, and uh, here we are in Mihyar store for the thobe and the Saudi culture thobe. These are nice, man. Oh, okay. Feel good. Well, my shoes is a little. I like it. I like this a lot, man. These <laughs> look good. Um, I'm cutting weight, but it's too early to cut more. I want to see how you do it. I'll record it. Just wait. I need to record it. I'll record it, Yeah, you're making a triangle, put it in the middle. Put it in the middle of the head. And then you put the black thing on top. Embrace the culture, man. And they look pretty cool and they look comfortable, so. Yeah, man. Super happy I'm getting one. You gotta do your Bruce Lee thing. Oh, yeah. Yes. Love it. <laughs> I think it's great. They all look very, very nice. And it's always good to experience the culture. I just got in the hotel yesterday night. Pretty much everybody's sleeping good. I'm the only not. <laughs> Going over the strategy, you know, some sweating. That's it, waiting for the fight day. We are not a friends, we are family. Because we fight as a family. Very easy week, you know, no stress at all. Resting, studying, sleeping, getting ready for the fight day. Ele tá tentando te agarrar e você não deixando. Não deixando, mão fechadinha, preparado a mão também. Faz a sombra da mão, faz a sombra da mão. Renan and Brian Bader. Renan is my, my fighter, my guy. I hope that Ryan Beta is really training hard and really um, getting issue with a, a big guy, faster, powerful as Renan is. It's gonna be a good fight. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Oh no! What is it? Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, Just uh, a few days to cutting weight, then to fight. That's it, inshallah. And to win. After the win, uh, we're gonna celebrate and uh, do something crazy. What do you think? Uh -huh. About the fight. And if he wanna strike with me, I'm gonna finish him in striking. And yeah. also, if I will, I will go to the ground. Also, I feel I can finish him in the ground. Also, inshallah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see the fight. I, I will, I will see what, what's happening in the fight, and I will uh, complete to finish him. Yeah. Or to make something crazy like the last fight. Yeah. I, I think people always think that Abdullah is is an, uh -huh. an a striker, not a grappler. But for me, I see no. I see Abdullah works works with both, and he's and he's like amazing in both and striking and, and grappling. Uh, it's luck. our place. <laughs> it's <laughs> our <laughs> night. <laughs> it's our champ. Hey. Everything is gonna be right. Our champ is gonna give the show. At 24, I'm gonna win a big win. I'm gonna do uh, something crazy in the fight. Uh, all people want to see something crazy in the fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him this. Uh, I'm, ready, I'm ready for everything. I'm ready for this fight or the next or after this fight. All the fight, I'm a fighter and I'm fighter for a lot of things. And I'm ready for everything.
This is the most agonizing part. Waiting to fight. <laughs> yeah, think about what you need to do the whole time. Just thinking, 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 thinking. And then you get out there, everything you think about don't even work. <laughs> don't think, just do. Yeah. Honestly, this entire journey, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in without my father. He's not just a big key, he is the key to this. We planned for this 25 years ago, so it's pretty easy. It's just like we're just following the course of the path that we processed in our minds before we did it. We manifested it and now it's a reality and it's real easy. It's actually easier knowing that we've planned this a long time ago. Clay Collard, you know, he's, he's a great opponent. He fought in the championships for that uh, million dollar prize and for the world title for a reason. And I also believe the champ retired for a reason after fighting Clay Collard. He ain't no rollover, you know, he's coming to fight. I think his opponent is something that we've seen in our gym. Those guys are easy for someone who's very athletic, as long as we don't get sloppy and get caught. And that's my job in the corner, to keep him squared off and solid and keep his movement going. I try not to get fixated on what he's going to do and just focus on what I'm going to do. But with an opponent like Clay Collard, you're, you're expecting fireworks for sure. Let's get it. Today is Wednesday. Uh, we got weigh-ins on Friday. So since we got here, it's all about getting acclimated and getting the weight on point. It doesn't cut a lot of weight, so it should be pretty easy. Just get them feeling good, get them moving. Uh, we'll do two workouts a day uh, up until weigh-ins. Right now, it's just a little bit of movement, some mobility. Later tonight, we'll do a martial arts training. AJ McKee is tough. He's been doing this since he was a kid, just like me. He's got good catch wrestling, you know. He's got a couple sneaky submissions. Uh, I do have the advantage on the feet. I think my striking's a little cleaner. I think I'm a little bit tougher than he is, too. So there's a Swiss ball there, there's some mobility on that. He loves the Swiss ball mobility. It's like being a kid again. I think he's gonna try to fight me, and I don't know if that's a good idea. If anybody that tries to fight me usually gets beat up. We're going down! I, I like beating up tough guys, and this guy seems like he's a tough guy. He's got a good record. Make my day, man. Uh, if he wants to stand there and trade, man, make my day. Feeling really good. Better than good. Look at this beard, bro. If you would, just recount for us your decision to come back to MMA. Well, I never really decided not to come back to MMA. I had to go back to boxing and handle some business. But now that that business is handled, I want to continue my journey and learning the sport and just to work closer to becoming PFL world champion. What should we expect to see in this fight from you that's different than the last time? This fight, you can expect me to be able to recognize the takedown. Um, I believe I'll be sprawling better if I have to. I know how to get up now. You know, you can expect to see these hands fly, because that's what they do. So these hands are going to be in there flying. I'm going to land my shots. I'm going to pick my shots very well. And uh, you may see a kick kick here, here or there. You never know. Thank you, guys. Thank you. What I know about Kelsey is um, she has a background with the Army, so that means that she's pretty mentally tough. So I'm just prepared to show her that uh, I've been a fighter all my life, and I think the fights in my life have been way harder than any MMA fight could ever be. And that I'm not scared of her, and that's what she'll see. She's better on the ground, but she's not a better overall fighter than me. 
Ew, how's everything? Hey, Jim. Hey. Great to see you. Same, always good to see you. Yeah. Who are you fighting? I was going to fight Braga, but they, yeah, they brought him up, so I'm fighting Henry Corrales now. Why well, you come here looking like, a, looking like Elvis, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Cross? Perfect. Let's uh, switch your stance. So tell me your thoughts on this matchup versus uh, Jason Jackson. Yeah, I feel like I have an advantage probably standing up. I think he's going to want to wrestle me, and I have the advantage on uh, wrestling too. Everybody knows what it's about when I come into that cage. Uh, I can come for throw hands, and that's pretty much it. I hope Jason obliges me because uh, I feel like I'm going to knock him out. Ooh-wee. Damn. Look at this. The Super Bowl, bigger than the Super Bowl. Oh man, look good on me. Your brand new Bellator PFL welterweight champion, Jason, the ass kicking machine. Tell me about how you feel about matching up with uh, Ray Cooper. I feel great about this matchup with me and Ray Cooper because Ray Cooper is an awesome fighter, and he's like one of them guys like a wild card. A guy who you cannot expect, you know what I'm saying, nothing less out of that he's gonna either he's gonna knock you out or, you know, he could come out there and try to wrestle. Yeah, the muscles activated. <laughs> See this. <laughs> so, you know, this fight is gonna be a, a fight a high pace action, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've been just mimicking everything, going through the simulation of what it's gonna be fight night. Instead of carrying around one belt, I'm gonna be looking even better with two belts on my shoulder. I, I didn't come all the way this far just to pick up a check. I want everything that comes with it. Let's go. Everything. Yes. Thank you. I think I over this, right? Over to you. <laughs>